Hello, my name is Mark Beck, and I recently wrote a book on Corel's Video Studio Pro X4 that you can order on Corel's website. Among the requests made to the Video Studio team from places such as the Video Studio Facebook page is for a set of instructional videos that speak to the basics of using Video Studio. And that's what this is. This video will introduce you to the process of saving for and uploading a video to YouTube and other social sites, such as Vimeo, Facebook, and Flickr. The first item you'll need to take care of is to create a YouTube account, as you'll be asked to sign into your account before uploading your video. Start this by clicking the Create Account link of the YouTube homepage and follow the online instructions. Once you've created your account, return to Video Studio and choose the movie you want to upload. Choose your movie in one of two ways. One choice is using a movie you have in your timeline. The other choice is to use one you've already saved. In either case, go to the Share tab at the top of your screen and click on Upload to Web. While all the destination choices in the list follow relatively the same steps, I'll select YouTube, then one of the next three choices. The first two choices will only be available if you have content in your timeline. If you choose a movie that's already been rendered out and saved to your hard drive, make sure it's in the MP4, MPEG-4 format required for YouTube. To avoid any errors in YouTube, I still recommend saving it in one of the YouTube choices from this list. I'll select the HD choice. Title and save your movie. Once your movie is created, this window will display. Step 1, the log into YouTube window. You still have the choice to create a new account here. I will enter my username and password at the top and click Next. In Step 2, agree to the copyright disclaimer and click Next again. In Step 3, add a movie title and description. I'll show you where these will display in a minute. Add tags for search purposes. When a viewer on YouTube enters one of your tags, such as Hot Air Balloon, your movie will be listed in the results. Each tag should be separated by a comma. Then choose a category of videos. These categories are displayed on the YouTube homepage. Finally, choose public or private viewing. Choosing private viewing will only let those who you've given the URL address to the ability to view your video. When done here, click Upload to send and embed the movie into your YouTube account. When the green bar is all the way across, click Done and you'll be taken to your account page where you'll see your new video listed at the very top, like so. Click on the video to be taken to the new video page. Here you'll see the title and description that we mentioned earlier. So there you have it. To learn more about Video Studio Pro X4, I suggest subscribing to the Video Studio channel on YouTube, join the conversation on Facebook.com slash Video Studio, or take a look at my new book, which you can order from Corel.com.